Hey, Mark and Tanya, good morning. Illinois Comptroller Susanna Mendoza is calling for Cook County Judge Thomas Nowinski to resign. Now, we spoke with her just 30 minutes ago following the decision by Cook County Chief Judge Timothy Evans to move Judge Thomas Nowinski off domestic violence cases after anonymous threats and the death of a woman on the northwest side last week. Illinois Comptroller Susanna Mendoza says the death of Lacra Mio Arabeldi, allegedly at the hands of her husband, was preventable. Judges need to be held accountable. They hold a unique position of trust. And at this point, this specific judge, I don't trust him on a parking ticket. Though Mendoza does not have control of judicial appointment herself, she is speaking out this morning, hoping to serve as a voice for the voiceless. I think it's important for people like me and every other resident of Cook County or a person who's been touched by these cases to use their voices on behalf of these families. This all comes as Cook County Chief Judge Timothy Evans took Judge Thomas Nowinski off domestic violence cases following anonymous threats after Nowinski released Constantine Beldi, Lacrimiora's husband, on electronic monitoring before investigators say Beldi stabbed his wife to death last week on the far northwest side. He was found dead by apparent suicide in a vehicle a block away from where his wife was killed. In October, Judge Thomas Nowinski allowed Constantine Beldi to be released on electronic monitoring, despite a request from prosecutors that he remain in prison because they deemed him a risk to the community. Lacrimiora's killing happened just one day after her husband appeared in court on battery and attempted kidnapping charges. Court documents show Lacrimiora Beldi tried twice this year for protective orders against her husband. The offenders, in fact, got more help from that judge and from the system overall than the, uh, than the victims did. And so I don't think that when people are directly responsible for decisions that lead to the death of two people seeking help from our system, that they should get to keep their job. We are also learning this morning that Judge Nowinski presided over the order of protection case involving Crisetti Brand. The man accused of killing 11-year-old Jaden Perkins last March and wounding the boy's pregnant mother. Brand was released on parole a day before the deadly attack. In a statement after Baldi's death, Chief Judge Evans acknowledged, quote, this unfortunate situation has revealed gaps in policies and procedures. And he says his office is currently investigating to determine whether any employee failed to follow policies and procedures in this case. Judge Evans says his office is now going to give additional training to all judges who hear domestic violence cases. Now, Chief Judge Timothy Evans says he also plans to work with Eileen O'Neill Burke, the incoming Cook County State's Attorney, to strengthen electronic monitoring procedures. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.